Hey Valley Metal, welcome back to the second in a uh, three-part series of working with percentages and numbers and parts and holes. Let's take a look at our trivia question for the night to get things started here. What was Darth Vader's real name in the Star Wars series? We'll get that answer and much more in the video tonight. All right, tonight officially the target is 7.2b. I can find part of a given number equal to a given percentage of the whole number. Wow, that sounds complicated, but we need to find the part tonight. We've had the percentage, we've had the whole. We always got 100. That'll always be there. We'll find the part tonight, and I'll show you how to do that. Let's do this. Uh, let's start off with the problem about Raekwon. Raekwon has 80% of the money saved for a new Call of Duty game. The game costs $50. How much does he save? Well, what we're really asking is what part of $50 is 80%? So let's take and pop in the numbers into the box because last night Ben Obi Wan Kenobi said, Use the box, Luke. So we'll use the box. We know that the 50 is what the whole price is. We know that he has 80%. So let's get our calculator out and let's follow the directions. In the box, you will always multiply the diagonal numbers that you have. So we've got 50 times. 80, and that's going to give us a total of 4,000. Now we'll divide that 4,000 by 100. We've got 40. So let me just pop that in. i got that hidden down here. Oops. Pop it in, and let's see if that makes sense. He has 80% of the cost of the game. That be equivalent to forty dollars? Yeah, it would, because one fifth would be ten dollars, and four fifths then be forty dollars. So the answer makes sense. The box worked. Use the box, Luke. All right, little review. Percent proportion we talked about last night. That's when you have a fraction on one side and a percent proportion on the other. You've got four-fifths, which represents the part of you have and how many parts in a whole, and then also the percentage. Well, if you take a look at it, you also have these fractions over here. That we Remember how we went from 1 to 50 and 2 to 100? Whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. In this case here, we multiplied by 50. Also, a quick review about the cross products in two equal fractions, always equaling the same product. All right, well, we can move the star down to find the part tonight, and this P up here in the box is the piece that's going to be missing, and we'll use those other numbers to find it. Tonight, questions are going to look like this. What is 25% of 60? Find 25% of the number 60, and what number is 25% of 60? All asking about the part. That's what we're looking at tonight. All right, I'm going to move this slide here and start off. Here's the first one tonight. And oh, look, Darth Vader stopped by for a little tutorial on us. All right. What is 20% of 30? I don't know what to do on this. Darth, you want to give me some advice? Don't underestimate the power of the box, Luke. All right. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that, Darth Vader. He says, don't underestimate the power of the box. All right, so what do we got? We've got 20%. We'll pop that in the 20% part of 30. We'll pop that in, the 30. Now, get our calculator out. So we've got whole is 30, so we're going to multiply 30 times 20, and then we'll divide that by 100 equals 6. 30 times 20, 3 times 2 is 6, we've got two zeros. We divide by 100, and we get 6. Does that answer make sense? Yeah, it does make sense because 10% of 30 would be 3, so 20%, yeah, would be 6. Now that time, did I notice that you can multiply this way here, multiply diagonally, and divide this way, or you can multiply this way and divide. It doesn't matter. You're still going to be dividing by 100 in this case. So it didn't matter. We've accomplished our first problem. All right, what else do we got to know, Darth? 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 Don't 
underestimate the power of the box nuke. All right, thanks, Darth, for those words of wisdom. Maybe he'll learn something new one of these times. All right, find 30% of the number 240. Okay, so we know that the whole is 240, so we'll place that in there. And find 30%, that's easy. We just put that next to the percent sign. So, get the calculator out, multiply them out. We should clear it first. 240 times 30. And then we'll divide by the third number, which is 100. We've got 72. Let's pop that number in and see if our answer makes sense. All right, we need 30% of 240. Well, 10% would be 24, so 3 times 24 is 72. Yeah, that makes sense. I also can think of 33% would be 80, so that would be a third of it. So, yeah, 72 makes sense. And we've accomplished our second problem for the night. All right. What number is 65% of 120? We're getting good at this. Let's pop the 65% in. Throw the 120 in. All right. Let's do it in the order that we did it last time. We went 120 times 65, but because we can switch those numbers around, we'll try it the way I've written. 65 times 120, you get, of course, the same product. You divide that by 100, that third number, and you probably already know the answer because you can divide by 100 so easily. You get a total of 78. Let's slide that dude up there and see if it makes sense. All right. Well, 50% of 120 would be 60, so 65 is going to be a little bit more. Yeah, our answer makes sense, 78. We can also check those cross products. We knew that this equaled 7,800, and if I multiply these products, or multiply these two numbers together, the product is 7,800 too. So there's kind of a built-in cross check. All right, time for you to try a couple on your own. Why don't you work on this problem here? Oops. This one right here. There we go. Don't underestimate the power of the box nuke. All right, let's see how you did. Okay, we know we got 12.5%, and our whole number is 96. Now, this one got just a little tricky because of the decimal involved, but as long as you took and multiplied them straight away and divided by 100, your answer should have been 12. How did you do? All right, does the answer make sense? Well, 10% of 96 would be 9.6, so 12.5%? Yeah, that's close. That makes sense. All right, last problem. Ooh, last problem. Go ahead and give it a shot while we listen to Darth one more time. Don't underestimate the power of the box nuke. Sorry, my alarm's going off. All right, let's pop the numbers in, see how you did. What is 90% of 150? So we know the whole is 150, and we got 90% of that. It's going to be close to 150, isn't it? If you multiply those in, you will get 135. All right, should I just check my work here? I know that 135 times 5 times 100 would be 13,500. So just add the zeros. But I'll multiply these two numbers together to make sure I get the same cross product. 150 times 90. There we go. I know I'm right. I love the fact that you can just double check them by cross multiplying and making sure you got the same product. We are set. All right, here's your ticket for the night. What is 80% of 120? What number is 25% of 164? Give me a minute to write those down. All right, the answer to tonight's trivia question What was the real name of Darth Vader in the Star Wars series? Yes. It was Anakin Skywalker. And here's his music to take us home. That's bad guy music, right? All right, have a good evening.